This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, fluid simulation is a way of replicating the movement and behavior of liquids and gases, gases in different environments. It's widely used in fields like gaming, animation, engineering and physics to create realistic visual effects and slow, com slow complex fluid related problems. This time I will present you a very simple way to make a fluid motion simulator using a few components. This is a simulator with a relatively low resolution of 256 dots and for that purpose I use a display made of 16 on 16 LEDs with WS2812B LED chips. Specifically I'm using a chip ready-made module use, uh, with 16 on 16 LEDs. However, on this small display I will create some really cool visualizations. The device is extremely simple to build and consists of only a few components. ESP32 microcontroller board, next MPU6050 accelerometer module, 16 on 16 uh, LED module with WS2812B chips and one button. For this project I'm using a box from one of my previous devices for which I have also made a free, 3D printed grill for a better visual presentation. Otavis, even without this addition the visual effects is impressive. It is important to note that the EMU sensor should be mounted in the way you see in the description because otherwise you will get a undefined movement that does, that does not comply with the laws of physics. Now a few words about the software. The code is designed in a way that allows us to change multiple parameters so we can simulate the movement of sand particles liquids, gases and other fluids. First of all, we can change the number of active particles and the light intensity of the LEDs. With the button we can also choose one of the on the three colors for the LEDs that we have defined previously. Also at the beginning of the code numerical values are given for some of the colors. I will also present you a version of the code where the color of the particles change dynamically depending on their location, which gives an even more interesting visual effects. Then follow the basic physical quantities in the form of constants. By combining their values, various ways of moving fluids are obtained. As for the code installation, it is standard and has been described in several of my previous videos. You also need to install the given libraries first. Now let's see how the device behaves in real conditions. I'll present you with just a few different situations and you can experiment with many different combinations of physical constants.
And finally, a brief conclusion. This simple device serves only as a visual presentation of the way several different fluids move. IA Primary is a visually interesting toy for describing and learning fluid, fluid dynamics.